What's up, YouTube? Danny B. NH guy. I just got back from the Goodwill, Hudson, New Hampshire. I spent um, $72.60. And, um, yeah, guys. I, uh, I did pretty good today. So let's check it out. First up is a Star Wars men's Chewbacca button front shirt. This is a Hawaiian Chewbacca shirt, guys. And this is a men's size small. And, uh, yeah, pretty sweet. So I'll have to do some research on this, see what it's worth. Hopefully close to 30 bucks. Pick that up. This here, guys, is a uh, Pedro Martinez, number 45, Boston Red Sox t-shirt. And uh, this has some uh, pit staining, which I didn't notice, but um, I'm going to pre-treat it, see if I can make it look better, guys. This is a men's size large. Um, there's probably not too many of these on eBay, so I picked it up. So uh, hopefully I can clean it up a little bit, make it look a little bit better, guys. And um, hopefully at least 25 bucks for that. This here, guys, is a um, Lady Gaga Enigma. I don't know if that's the name of a tour or the album. This is covered with dog ears, guys. And um, yeah, this is a size medium. I'll have to look this up. But um, yeah, hopefully 25 bucks for this, guys. I'm probably going to uh, run it through the washer, and get all the dog ears off of it. Because I don't want to freaking deal with that. So put that over there, guys. Um, next up is a gamble. I didn't look this up. This is the uh, the Office TV show Dunder Mifflin t-shirt. And this is new with the sticker. And um, I have to look this up, guys. But um, hopefully over 20 bucks for this. Next up was a good find. Um... Disney Pixar Toy Story t-shirt and um, I don't think it has a year on it but uh, I have to do some research on this guys this might be vintage and uh, I gotta look this up see what it's worth hopefully over 25 bucks This here is a vintage t-shirt, guys, on a uh, Screen Stars best tag. This is a vintage Mount Washington Cog Railway 1989 t-shirt. This is single stitch, guys. This is old school. And um, this is a size, size large. So pretty sweet. Hopefully about 25 bucks for this. I gotta look this up. This is a uh, Chicago band, Earth, Win Chicago and Earth, Wind and Fire, Heart and Soul Tour 2.0. And uh, I gotta look this up. I'm not sure what it's worth, guys, but uh, yeah, hope it's worth uh, at least 25 bucks. I found this shirt the other day. It was brand new. Um, I found another one that was used. So this one's used and it was on sale today for buck fifty. This is a uh, 511 Tactical Series t-shirt. Extra large. And um, I'm going to try to get at least 21 bucks, 22 bucks for this. Pick that up. This here is a pretty sweet shirt, guys, but it's in a uh, rough shape. I believe this is a vintage Nightmare Before Christmas Tim Burton um, Jack t-shirt. And this has got holes in the back, the bottom back. It's got holes in the front. It's got holes around the collar. So, uh, yeah, guys, I'm pretty sure this is vintage. It's not single stitch, but... um. Pretty sure this movie came out the late 90s. I could be wrong. I'm going to do some research on this, guys. Make sure it's vintage. And um, 
yeah, hopefully I get over close to 30 bucks, uh, maybe less because of the condition. But um, definitely going to do some research on that, guys. Um, found this tank top. This is pretty uh, crazy. There's no brand on it. But this has got uh, ice tea and ice cube wrappers on the same t-shirt, guys. So uh, I'll have to look this up. I'm not sure what size this is. But it's pretty funny. And um, let's see what this is worth, guys. So I picked that up. I picked up three of these shirts right here. These are uh, less than three bucks a piece. Uh, these are vintage. And I'm sure these, are, I think these are brand new guys without the tags. These are from Kmart's Best. And uh, these are all vintage men's, like uh, sleeveless underwear shirt. I'm not sure what you call it. It's not a tank top. It's not a regular tank top. It, guys wear these uh, underneath their shirts. And um, is this one dirty? Tough to tell in the sunlight here. This might be a little bit dusty, but um, I picked up three of them, guys. These are size extra large. But, uh, yeah, I think these would sell, guys. So they're all the same. Kmart's best. So... I think they're all new. Um, I have to make sure they're all clean. Yeah, this one's got like a sticker on it. Like a little thing I gotta pull off, but uh Yeah, I think they're pretty clean. So I picked three of those up, guys. Um, next up, I usually don't buy this brand anymore, but this is brand new with tags, and it's a good size. This is a Tommy Bahama. Men's quarter zip pullover. And this is a three extra large, guys. Brand new with tags. And um, I'll have to look this up, but it's a good size. It's a brand new with tags, so I think I can get at least 30 bucks for this. Maybe 35. Next on deck is another brand new shirt with tags. This is from uh, Burke Mountain Retail. So I think that's in Maine, guys. And um, not Maine, but uh, Vermont. And uh, yeah, it's got a skier on the front. So uh, yeah, it's got the brand new tag on it. And I'll see what I can get for this, guys. Hopefully about 25 bucks. Next up, I'm taking a gamble on this. I picked it up because of the graphic. This is a NATCA NY track on. I think it's some kind of radar, guys. And I think this sure might be, it might be vintage. Some kind of radar for airplanes, guys. And um, that's what I'm guessing. We're gonna have to go, I'm gonna have to Google this. But it had a pretty cool print on the back, guys. And this is on a Bayside heavyweight tag made in the USA, men's large. So, taking a little Kevin Gamble on this, but uh, hopefully this pays off, guys. Got a couple North Face t shirts, um, two extra large. This one's kind of like a green color. And, uh, yeah, they started putting tags in the, uh, near the shoulder, but I think that's going to cause a lot of, uh, a lot of holes, guys, right there. See that? So, hopefully there's no big holes left over after this, after they take the tag out. Um, another North Face. This one's better. Uh, men's extra large. It's got a cool graphic on the back. And, uh, yeah, hopefully over 20 bucks for these. And uh, last up, this is a vintage Nomar Garcia Para 
Boston Red Sox um, Dunkin' Donuts coffee mug, coffee uh, cup from the year 2000. Um, it's missing the cap on it, the cover. But uh, I don't think there's anything like this on eBay, guys. And uh, there'll be a Nomar Garcia pair of fan out there that's going to pick this up. I hope. And uh, yeah, I'm going to try to get at least 25 bucks for this. Maybe 30 bucks. Maybe I'll put it on auction, guys. It was less than three dollars, so that's what I got for today. And uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll talk soon, guys. Peace.